Hello, this is Alan McNabb with Image Building Web Design, and in this tutorial, we are showing you how to create a Joomla article. And uh, the article has a bullet list or uh, an unnumbered uh, uh, numbered list, just with the uh, the bullets on there. Um, so let's uh, let's begin. Uh, we have a um, uh, we've got a word word document. And I guess I nix that out of there. So let me open it up real quick. Um, no, I tell you what it was. It was it was this email. So we've got an email. We're going to take and we're going to turn that into an article. So this will be something uh, very interesting for you to watch. As we've said before, we just paste that in Notepad, um, and that lets us. Uh, that just strips out all the codes. Let me scan over this real quick. Um, all right, and uh, this was just a note there. I need to get out of there. And this is a note I need to get out of there. And I'll have to put a hyperlink there at the end. But we are looking pretty good. So let me let me copy uh, let me copy this. Highlight it, copy, and uh, I'm going to go to the website, and I'm using IE Internet Explorer because it does the bullet list uh, better, uh, tends to do it better right now. And let me make a comment about that. Um, you know, web browsers are constantly changing, and also software for these websites such as Joomla and WordPress, Drupal, and others. And so if something doesn't work with a particular browser, just try a different browser. And uh, as I said, browsers are constantly changing, website, back-end software constantly changing. So sometimes there will be some browsers that won't do a few functions for a while, and then the browsers will catch up. So just try something else. All right, so uh, content, article manager, we're going to create an article. Um, I'm going to show you something here. I'm going to look, I want to see just the articles we have just for the blog, so I'm going to click on Select Category, go down to Blog, and it shows me just these. All right, I'm going to add a new one, and um, hang on one second. Let me, uh, let me go back here, and let me get just the title here. All right, so let's, put, uh, let's paste the title right there. Let me check that out, see if there's, I think, an extra space there. A couple, three extra spaces. All right, I'm going to copy that so I can come down here. I'm going to paste that. Now, remember I told you how to turn on the codes here, and there will be a button that might say a P, might be just a little um, visual character there. Um, all right, so I'm going to copy uh, this. Since it's the title, I'm going to make it an H1. And then I'll come down here. All right, so let's go back over to our uh, notepad. I'm going to take everything but the title. Copy. Go to Joomla. Paste. And now I'm going to just go down through here. And at the end of this, I'm going to click. Put in an extra paragraph. Hit delete. Bring it up. And the rest of them will probably be right in their own paragraph tags, and they are. All right. All right. Let me check that link right there. All right. Well, we've got a little problem there. That's fine. I'll show you how to do this. First, I'm going to break this link because it was in there. But I'll break it. Just use the break link or unlink right there. I got an extra space there. So let me just hit that. All right, so let's check this link right here. Very good. Automatically put that in there for us. And uh, I'm going to just copy, just copy this. Highlight, Control C for copy. And I'm just, I'm just clicked on there. I'm going to go to the link here. Um, oops. Let me highlight. Go to the link. I'm going to paste in the URL address. Okay, we're good there. All right, now everything is looking good here. We just got to put in this bullet list here. 
Alrighty, so let me uh, just look at uh, let me look at the email for a second to see where that comes in at. Okay, lastly, and then after include. All right, all right. So be include right there. I'm going to go and make that uh, paragraph right there, and I'm just going to go and make these. This is what I do with it. I just go and make these all paragraphs right there. Uh, let me double check this email. Okay, organic Greek, bell peppers, berries. Just find where each of these are. So I can, I'm just putting each one of these into its own paragraph and it will be later. Uh, in just a few minutes we will put those into a bullet list, but this just helps me get them all separated out here. Uh, white potatoes, carrots, cucumbers, all right. All right. There we go. So, okay. Carrots and the cucumbers. All right. Okay, so let me put these into bullet list. I want to click click on the first one here is oranges, and I just go right up here, and uh, so I clicked on the unordered list. A little drop down there I click circle which I think is the default here anyway but that will make sure that's what we're getting all right so there's the first one so I want to hit delete which brings that up there hit enter that puts it as the next item delete enter delete enter delete enter delete enter delete enter delete enter, delete, enter. Okay, so that should do us. That should do us good there. All right, so let's uh, uh, oops, check our category. I had it wrong. I had it in blog. It belonged in aging. Got to check that. Make sure that's right. And um, that's good. So we're going to save this for right now. Well, it doesn't look like it's going to save. That's terrible talking about, uh, talking about, uh, oh, there we go. Okay. All right, very good. Let's, uh, let's view site here and see what happens. Looks like it saved it, but I'm going to double check it here. Okay, going to go to blog, see if it'll bring it up. I'll probably have to clear the cache. Go down to aging. All right. Go to blog again. Okay, it's got it in there, that part, and it shows me I forgot to put in the, um, I'm going to cancel that and pull it back up here. It shows me that I forgot to put in the read more. So let's bring that back up. extra information shouldn't have been in there all right all right so let's uh, go on and break this up with a read more here and what do you think right there click read more and let's say save right there and give it just a moment okay it did its thing you saw all that change right there all right so let's um, I'm going to close out out of there. Let's go and clear the cache. All right, see it's cleared. And let's clear the cache on the 
browser. And that was Control Shift Delete. Gave me the option to clear that. Okay, that's cleared, so let's re let's reload here. Alright, there's a read more button. Click it and let's make sure it works. Yes, it does. And also click aging there. Okay, it's not giving us the list there. Um, let's, uh, okay, it's not giving us the list, so I need to go find out what I did wrong with that. I obviously did something wrong. I'll let you listen here for a second. We'll, we'll see how long. Uh, I only got 15 minutes total on the recording, so let's, uh, let's see what we've got here. Uh, first of all, let's go to the article. And let's go. Oh, it's not letting me do it. All right. So let's just log out of this. IE is uh, not working as well in some regards anymore. So I'm over here with uh, anymore with uh, Joomla uh, in some regards. So I'm over here um, back in. Um, um, Chrome and let's go to content article manager and of course it's wanting me to log in all right content article manager Yeah, again, we're running slow just because we're doing the video at the same time. All right, I'm going to get the articles just with blogs there. All right, so this one's category blog. Uh, so that's the uh, that's the problem there. Let's go in here. That didn't get changed. Make that aging. Save and close. All right, let's clear the cache. Again, you want to check things when you do it, just to make sure they all come out right. Clear the cache on the PC. Because um, it's easy to make mistakes or forget certain things, and you don't want to take things for granted. All right, waiting on the cache to clear with the PC. That was Control-Shift-Delete for that screen to come up. All right, so let's go to the blog. That reloads that page. Alright, looking good. Alright, aging. There's an article on aging. Click on that. Alright, we're good to go. So I want to show you something else in a minute, but I'll let you go for now. I want to show you how to do uh, the metadata on these articles that I've put in because certainly need to know that for the search engine. So uh, 